I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 7th of July, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And today we're heading back to the Residencia de Fatima where we're doing another house tour. We did one, a tour of a small house there just a few days ago, and that was quite popular. But there's a beautiful, amazing, much larger house right across the street, and we managed to get a full tour of it for you. Remember, we're not agents, we're just showing houses on video. So this is, we're just excited to be able to go look at cool houses, and this one, I'm really impressed by this one. This, I was blown away by how beautiful this house is. So I hope you join me right after the bump. We are back in the Residencia Fatima, and today I'm actually recording my voice as we do that. We have another house to walk through. This is bigger than the last one we saw. I'm gonna really quickly show where we are, though. So we're on the same street, and we looked at the house just down there a couple days ago. So we're towards the top of the Western Street. That is the top right there against the ferrocarril, against the old railroad, which is just behind those houses. So this is the very top of the main street. This is the house we're gonna be looking at absolutely gorgeous i've already been through it it's fantastic i love this house i think you guys are going to be really excited this is for sale or rent which you can see on the sign say vende for sale say aquila para rent for rent uh you've got a little bit of space over here for parking a motorcycle or you can just pull up a car over here i just want to cut in this beautiful front yard we're an incredibly sunny day today so this is this is bright 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 which is going to be perfect for going through the house and then on this side you actually have a gated area so you actually have space to pull two full-size vehicles or an rv I suppose, back on this side, and you can park out on the street. Remember, you're in a gated community, so a lot of people, as you will see, park their cars out front. They don't worry about keeping them enclosed in anything because it's an incredibly safe area, plus people park on the street. So you have room for a lot of vehicles here. You could have two cars outside the gate, two more inside the gate, or motorcycles, or whatever. Very flexible for that. No inside garage, but you don't need that here. Uh, you will get a lot of sunlight on your car, however. Notice all of the grass is beautiful, all of the, the shrubbery, the trees, everything is really, really nice. We have a front patio area. You could have table and chairs out here or just open as it is. And we're gonna head inside. Now this is a very similar layout to others we have seen. We have a good size living room here big front windows. Of course, your views are fantastic. This is a sunny area, right? So you're going to get a lot of sun, great neighborhood to be looking at. And then you have this really good sized living room. Um, this would be uh, basically your, your giant open space, TV, couches, dining area. You would put all of that in here. So we're going to start with the two secondary bedrooms. This is a three bedroom, three bath, right? So a little, definitely a bigger floor span, fl floor plan and each space is bigger and one extra bathroom from the last one we saw. So this is the front bedroom. This one in this particular house does not currently have air conditioning, but easy to add. Got great built-ins, very good condition. And then these two bedrooms up here, as we've seen in many of the others, they share a bathroom up front, lots of light, lots of windows. And then we have the other bedroom here, this one has windows out onto the side yard. A little bit of views out front as well, plenty of wind. But this one, in case we didn't see it, does have air conditioning already installed. Has a little bit less air than the front room, so you can imagine maybe you want air conditioning a little bit more. Again, really nice built-ins. Back to our living room. The backyard is fantastic. We're gonna to get to that in just a minute. The kitchen here, a bit larger than the other, I mean, easily twice or three times the size. You could, in theory, have a little place to eat over there, but really you're gonna want appliances. You do have this though. If you're just one person looking to eat or you want a little place to set your keys or whatever, like you have that, which is nice. Now the utility space is, as we saw in another house, outside another house here in Fatima, but not in the Residencia. So you have this is exactly the same in every house. For those who haven't noticed, this particular wash system is universal. Every single house everywhere in Nicaragua has this. 
Now the sky, you have lots of air here. So this door can be wide open, this door, these two windows wide open, and all of this air comes through. So this is unlike the other house that we saw in Fatima, this one is open on all four sides and to the top. So we don't have to have those cooling towers in the middle, uh, but we do have this, which functions like another one, so it's great. Now this is officially the bodega. However, like we saw in the other similar house, this could be used as a ridiculously tiny bedroom. I would not, that would be ridiculous, but it does make a perfect office. It is about the same size as my office in La Barrio before we moved. And like my office there, this is where the other bathroom is. We have another full bathroom with shower right over here. So you really wouldn't want to consider this a four bedroom. This is too small to be a fourth bedroom, but an excellent office, great bodega, um, craft space, whatever. It's really, really good for that. Set up some desks. It's in a nice spot and very, very secure should you need uh, something that's more locked down. Okay, let's go into the master. This is a really nice master. Again, let's notice air conditioning already installed here, of course, in a master. Windows on two sides with beautiful yards outside. This is the side. This is the back of where the, the cars would go if you had multiple vehicles and views into the backyard, which are very nice here. You've got large built-in with space for a television and the master bath, a little bit bigger than the others. Very nice, nicely appointed, nice design suicide shower, of course, because that's how things are done here. So we have that. And then we're gonna head into the backyard. This is spacious and incredibly well manicured. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just back up. I love the, the wrought iron style here. Very good, goes with the house, very modern. So we have a lot of big, bright patio space out here. And we'll walk around a little bit and show this off. So these are the windows of the master right there. And this is the vehicle space from the other side. We'll just walk up so you can really see everything. You can see air conditioners mounted out here. You can see our view out the front, beautiful neighbor's houses, great neighborhood to be in. Fantastic, fantastic spot. I'm really impressed with this house. I think it's a good price uh, and it's a, a great neighborhood, great layout. If this has enough space for you, if it has the amenities that you're looking for, this is a fantastic option for sure. Uh, let me just note, there's a little pad out here, easy for constructing a grill or something that's kind of what you would be expected to do. And of course your back patio, this is perfect if you're going to uh, set up a table and chairs and have outdoor dining, which the weather here is always fantastic. So this is a popular thing to do. That's our house here in Fatima. It's gonna do a little bit of walk around to the living room so you can see this again from every possible angle. So bright, I love, and, and good high ceilings, right? These are like 12 foot ceilings, 13 foot ceilings. Uh, so even, even that gives a big feeling of spaciousness. You've got nice uh, light fixtures, it's bright. Everything's very modern and new, clean. If you're coming from North America, this is a great option for having a feeling of being in North American style construction, North American style living, while integrating really, really well with the Nicaraguan environment. This is, this is fantastic. This is one that I'm excited to bring because, I mean, I really like showing more traditional Nicaraguan houses because it's different and people are kind of like, wow, I didn't, you know, you don't know what to picture, you don't know what to expect. But then when you see those, it's easy to forget that there's other things available too and that there's beautiful, modern, more North American, still very Nicaraguan, but uh, more North American accommodating uh, type of living like this, even in uh, Leon, which is much more colonial than other parts of the country. So thanks for tuning in. I'm glad we were able to bring this to you. This one I, I think is really fantastic. Now, if I understood the prices, I'm gonna make sure I write them down. I will double check them all. Uh, 550 a month, which I think is, it, you know, that's a little bit pricey for Nicaragua, but for this size, location, style, remember the ones right over there that are much smaller, three bedroom, two bath, are, are pretty consistently 450 is what the rent is. This much larger space, 550. If it's within your budget, I think this is a really reasonable price for this luxury level in this location, right? If this was in downtown, if this was in Saragossa, 
you know, we'd expect four, right? But you're paying an extra 150 just to be able to say you're in the Residencia Fatima for that incredible extra level of security that we talked about in the last video. All of that, yeah, you're gonna pay a pretty big premium for that, but worth it, if that's what's important to you, this could be a slam dunk. So 550 a month to rent, and I believe the number that they're asking is 180 to purchase. If you wanna actually own here, have your own place, make it your own, uh, and know that you, you can make a life here long term. All right, thanks for joining me. Uh, remember to get down in those comments. Let us know what you think about this property, others, what you'd like to see, all that stuff. All of that helps support the channel. Give us a thumbs up. That's a really big deal. Take a moment to do that before the end of the video because it makes it difficult on TVs to, to do that. It really, really makes a difference. If you want to support the work that we're doing, because remember, we're not agents. We don't get anything for showing these houses. Right up above, buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. Your coffee donations there come directly to me. They help. I've got a camera. I've got lights. Uh, we've got to drive out and do these. It, it takes quite a bit to get these done. So we really appreciate the support that we get. It means a lot. And I'm just about to go get in the car. My kids are with me today. We are going to Managua and Nindiri and doing filming there, which you'll see uh, in a day or two or have already seen. I'm not actually sure when these will post. And um, uh, as always, if you're looking for relocation assistance, shoot an email to info at relocatenicaragua.com. They'd love to talk to you and, and whether it's just looking for a consultation or you need someone to give you a tour, whatever, they, they provide those services, shoot an email, uh, like and subscribe, share with your friends, post on social media. I say this every time, but I want to see more of it. More Facebook, more Reddit, all that stuff. Hey, here's a show you should check out. It was interesting. Look at this house. It's pretty cool. And I will see all of you tomorrow.